Hello, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a dolly zoom. Now, we get... You don't know what a dolly zoom is? No. No. Let me try and explain to you what a dolly zoom is. I've got something here. This is a gimbal. It's got my phone connected to it and the software that comes with this gimbal on my phone camera allows me to do a dolly zoom. And basically what that is, is like you've seen on films, the protagonist or the person comes into the camera and he looks and he goes all shocked or something spooks him because oh like this and that the background pulls away but he stays in shot he doesn't move he stays the same size as well well i can do that with this cam with this gimbal going forwards and backwards like this you can see this is what it looks like in camera this is what i'm using my gimbal i've got two versions we can go out like we're going to do now in Power Director, but also I can go inwards. Now we can't do this in Power Director because it would be really complicated, but this is how you can do it in camera. It's very cool, right? Now you can do that also with a normal camera or ordinary camera, but you'll need a zoom lens because you need to, to get the focus to go forwards and backwards while you're moving forwards. A bit complicated, right? So I'm going to show you how you can use any video you like, and we're going to drop it in Power Director and we're going to do a dolly zoom. <laughs> Now, as always, watch out for tips and tricks out the video tutorial. Oh, and you're going to kick yourself how good this is. Let's open up PowerDirector. Let's do a dolly zoom. <laughs> I've got PowerDirector open with an empty project. Now, I've downloaded on from Stock Media, from Getty Image. I've downloaded two different videos because I wanted to try out, see which one was was better. This one's kind of doesn't really work because it's on a... Um, a slant the background this one was a more appropriate so i want to drag this video down onto track two now they don't have any sound files as you can see and it's basically just this guy looking really worried on talking on his mobile phone right so what we're going to do is we need to set this up to have the background move away so underneath the video preview here go to the, our zoom because we've got it on fit i'm going to go to about Let's say 75%, that is cool. So make sure track two is selected like this so we get these little markers turn up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag one of the corners like this and, and pull it out somewhere there. And then I'm going to recenter it because I have snapping set. And there we go, we've reset it. Now, this is an arbitrary size. Your video, of course, you can use the sizes that you like. I'm going to just use this. And what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it in, in, on the next part. So while we've got track two is now selected and we've got it set up, press control C on your keyboard. Click on the empty track one here anywhere in there and control V and it'll make a copy. So we've got two same videos now with the same arbitrary sizes. So make sure track two is now selected. Double click it, click on edit and go to background remover. Click on background remover and then just set it. Now the problem is with this little bit, unfortunately, is the mobile phone color is pretty much close to the to the sky color on this video. It's not really a, a, a problem, but you'll see if I just switch this off. The background off, you'll see it gets a little bit, yeah, if I just run it along and play it, see the phone is... Uh, it's, it's getting cut out, which it is, you don't really notice it, so it's not a problem. So let's bring this back into play. So now we've cut out our background. So now we've cut our person out and got rid of the background. We want to now make the background shrink. So make sure track one is selected. Double click on track one and go to advanced. Or click on edit and go to advanced and you'll get this little window called the advanced overlay editing. I'm gonna move it around just a little bit so you can see it like here and drag this out so we can see how this works. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna play around with the scaling sl slider. So take note of what we've got is 1.308 here on the scale. So let's just run it along and then stop it and add three key separate keyframes at certain positions. And somewhere about there is looking a little bit worried, so I'm going to add a keyframe and I'm going to play it around a little bit more. And is what? And then we're going to add another keyframe here and then play along. And it's still looking that oh, 
and then we're going to add another keyframe here. Now we can move these keyframes around. So don't worry about this. I'm going to drag this one somewhere like that. And I'm going to drag this one a little bit closer in somewhere like this. So make sure that your middle keyframe is now selected the one here and we're going to change its attributes here in the scale slider. So just click once on the scale and just type in the letter one, press enter and do the same for the other one, one and press enter. And what we've done is we've zoomed the video back to its original size. So what happens is when you play this, it'll, it'll zoom the video, but the person will stay centered. Click on OK and just play along and see what happens. And there you'll see it runs along and then the background goes away and he stays where he is. See that? Just like you have in the films. So let's just bring this back to fit now because we don't need it to be because we've made all the, our, our options available to us. So just redo this again and see it quickly from this position like this. And he goes, oh, what are you talking about? And then he's getting all, he's getting all keyed up and he's going, oh, and then the background goes away. Look at that. Cool, right? We need some music. We need something to make it scary pants. And, and so let's see where this, where it starts. The background starts to go away somewhere about around there. That looks like about five. So let's zero this out to five. So five seconds in, we're going to add our music file. I'm going to close this window down here. I'm going to go to uh, my media because I've, I've got some downloads. I've got a lot of files in, in my downloads because I mess around a lot. I'm going to go to horror and yeah, we've got this horror file and I'm going to bring this down onto track. It doesn't matter which track you bring it along to. And then we're going to shorten it because we don't need it to be that long. Somewhere about, let's say there, that'll do. And just play it along and see what we've got. And there you go. Now, if you don't like when it starts to move out, if it looks like it's a little bit catchy and you're losing it a little bit, you can play around with track one, double click on track one, go to advanced. Here where the files, where the keyframes are. And if you see this, you see it zooming in and zooming like this. Now, if you see this person and it kind of, you kind of get a double image, then you need to play around with the position sliders as well. So where these keyframes are, add a position slider and just gently nudge it left and right or right and left or up and down, just so it, it the person the person or the thing that you're, you're doing is hidden behind. And that's how you just create it. Mine doesn't seem to have that, so that is very cool. So I'm going to click on OK. And there we go. That is how to create a very easy dolly zoom without using any camera whatsoever, if you've just got a normal video. There you go. You can just see it. <laughs> I can just see it right at the end. I saw it there. You can see he's got two ears. Look, see that? Now I'm going to just, where that is now, I'm going to go to advanced and I'm just going to move that keyframe. It's right there. So I'm going to add a keyframe here like this. And I'm going to go to this keyframe here. So click on this keyframe. And I'm going to add a position keyframe there. And we're going to just move this keyframe. So click on this keyframe here. And we're going to move its position. So it will be on the X position. It would be in a more plus way. Like so. Five try an arbitrary one let's go to just let's take it just take it to 10 and click on OK and see how that looks and there you go perfect is how you create a dolly zoom I told you it'd be good right easy as well you can use any video you like give it a try yourself see what you can come up with if you found this video tutorial useful, don't forget to click subscribe. Give us a like, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.